Today, the Colorado Care System for People with Developmental Disabilities is in a state of deep crisis. It is unsustainable in its current form. Recognizing this as far back as 1998, Imagine turned to technology to improve services while saving money at the same time. In 2008, Imagine broke ground on its first smart home, the Bob and Judy Charles Smart Home in Boulder. In 2009, the Charles Family Smart Home in Longmont followed. The smart homes are the first such homes in the nation and serve as models for the future of staffed care and as research sites for family home care for people with developmental disabilities and other cognitive impairments. Imagine's belief that technology could provide a cost-effective model of quality service delivery is now being validated by independent studies. Wynn Partners at the University of Colorado Denver School of Medicine recently completed a year-long study that examined how technology was influencing the lives of the residents at the Bob and Judy Charles Smart Home. The results are extremely promising. My name is Elizabeth Woodruff. And I am Danette Musselman. And we were student researchers on a grant awarded to Colorado Wind Partners, University of Colorado Denver, to study quality of life of individuals with disabilities living in one of Imagine's smart homes. Overall, quality of life increased and supports needed decreased for the eight residents living in the Bob and Judy Charles smart home. The predictors that we looked at for measuring quality of life included an increase in relationships, an increase in independence, and an increase in interaction with the environment, meaning the residents engaging with their community. Our findings indicate that all three of these predictors increased for all eight residents. This fits with what we expected to find and what is driving Imagine in the creation of these smart homes. Those individuals that have greater access and choices will have less need for supports and increased independence.